Hello everyone and welcome back to another space weather update. My name is Alexis. This is the Ascension Diaries where we are tracking solar cycle 25 as well as the earth atmosphere which is the big story for today and basically all the other interesting things that happen in human history while solar cycle 25 is active. So let's get into today's episode. Today is February 28th. It is Wednesday. It's currently 5.09 p.m. here in Phoenix, Arizona. And like I mentioned, there is some data missing in our Earth's resonance data, I would say, that's available from the Tomsk, Russia University Space Observing System. This particular chart is what kind of brought me into this research because measuring the lightning and its behavior in our atmosphere causing brainwave and pretty much every other system change in our biology was very interesting to me as a psychologist, sociologist, somebody trying to get into the medical field, somebody trying to help people who are sick or experiencing sort of issues like even deep schizophrenia in moments of deep confusion, just really being able to know what's going on on all the levels I can to be able to help our patients. So this is a moment where I would be reviewing with my patients and so on these hours that are missing because there has been a tendency to at least perhaps overwhelm this equipment or perhaps bring it into more private viewing because this is a copyrighted material this is a you know it's a university so you know they get to use their materials how they want really i don't know if i can say much else about it but there when there is missing data i have to go look in the other locations which aren't as popular but are now becoming more popular so i'm going to introduce them to you in this video so this missing data is mostly from the 27th late 27th into early 28th of February and that's what this portion is right here that I'm referring to of missing data you can see obviously even earlier in the day on the 27th there was also some missing data there's also some anomalous data but nothing crazy but it is something to note so basically when I'm seeing anomalies I start seeing changes in people's biology and their behavior and so on it's it's uncanny so we're continuing to study it because it's proving to be very interesting to study this episode of space weather update is sponsored by the conscious crypto academy here at conscious this is jc is here to help teach all of us about conscious crypto exchanging saving and so on certain cryptocurrencies are changing rapidly before our eyes projects we've been teaching people about for now over a few years i believe and they are about to launch with more students to kind of get people ready into this new market so we have until march 9th please reach out if you have any questions at all or just simply visit this website here we go so we did have a geomagnetic storm yesterday while that data was missing now we're going to look at the other resources where this data is also being shared, which I mentioned earlier, which is Italy. Italy, Cumiana, Italy. Now this isn't a university. It looks like it's just like somebody's backyard, to be honest with you. Um, but I'm not fully sure. I haven't investigated fully, but it seems to be very fun and interesting. And a lot of you will bolt out of bed and you know it's the Italy site that's ringing true and some of you have already trained your body to know the difference between certain areas getting stimulated on the earth. Fun fact, did you guys know that about the study? That's something I'd like to share with the new learners. There's people who have developed these sort of abilities to decipher the feelings of the earth and what it's doing. Very cool. So here in the more subtle frequencies, we're zooming in now as I scroll down, zooming in to the lower frequencies, the very low, extremely low frequencies. This is what Russia is paying attention to. Just this close up of the frequencies, zero to 40, which is a little bit easier to see here because this is zero to 60. So this is sort of what the Russian chart, how zoomed in to the frequencies, the Russian chart is looking at things. So when the Russian chart is down, come over here to the Kumian Italy site on vlf.it. All the links are in the bio of this video or you can go to my, my website, ascensiondiaries.com. Go to the very bottom, there's a link. 
like library or whatever that is, a big button. You can't miss it. I'm doing my best to try and keep the resources that I talk about, the sourcing. When you talk about stuff, you should source, cite your sources. Those of you who are making videos about this stuff, please cite your sources if you can and are able to. It very much helps the next generation. It's not all about you. We gotta pass on the study to the next generation, so make sure you're citing your sources. I believe very strongly in open science and open study, and so that's why I'm always trying to share with you openly and with an open heart what I've noticed, but I'm pretty good at picking up on things because I know the patterns now. So we have South Africa that is also showing a decent amount of stimulation, but we don't have any data from the 27th yet. So I'm sorry, all we have is the Comian Italy resource, which does prove during the 27th, which you can see here if you are looking very close and zoom right in, here's the date on all of these. The 27th is this whole row, the 26th, there was clearly some activity going on. So I believe that the Russian chart is just perhaps bringing that into private study. Who knows? I'm thinking more and more formal and respectful ways to describe what I think I'm seeing in these moments because I wish to be in the respectful conversation globally. So here's a global consciousness dot of respectful conversations. Speak of it. Here we are moving into the yellow. We are just in the red. So good for me. I'm recording here in the yellow. That's awesome. Which probably means that the solar wind is high or that there's more activity on the sun giving me more brain activity, <laughs> more capacity over here. So let's look at the sunspot. This is what I'm most concerned about is this sunspot right here. I'll be honest with you 100% I am nervous about this sunspot. It's getting closer to the edge. It's starting to give M1 solar flares. Today it gave us, I think a few, but it's given us a few in the last three days. We've been getting little bits, little bits, but yeah, the M1 was just today. It wasn't even that long ago. It was within six hours ago. So that sunspot spot is getting a little more active. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. It's getting a little closer. I think it needs to calm down, break apart, maybe just take bench it, take a water break, just quit while we're ahead. I don't know if I really want to watch that thing get to the limb. I'm being honest with you. So um, <laughs> I'm a human being and I have my moments where I get a little squirrely about things I'm seeing in the data. And is that the <laughs> is that the divine feminine in me being like, oh yes, there is a problem. And maybe that's why I'm stationed in this position to make these videos and just kind of show you in the moments where I'm like, oh, something happened. So something weird happened yesterday, the 27th. We're missing data, but I'm seeing some in Italy and the sunspots being a sunspot that's being very daunting. The solar wind data was also missing a few times the last couple days, which is also not great for somebody who's trying to keep track of the minute flashes of a gigantic sunspot, which could happen very fast. So solar wind speed, pretty normal. We have a sunspot on the other side of the sun right now. Not really a big concern. They're maybe trying to deflect with the main problem <laughs> at hand. I don't know where I don't know why I'm the only one maybe posting about it that I'm seeing that's that concerned. So let's just calm down and watch the coronal mass ejection from today. There it is, boom, boom, and one in progress. So that was about three. So the sun is picking up an activity. We got a little bit of a break. Let's see on the 27th if there's anything obviously happening here that we're missing. The date's down here. The 27th just begun. We're watching, we're watching. There's a big ejection at the bottom. Could have been something. Yeah, that was pretty much it. So not sure if it was the sun. That's the thing. When we're seeing atmospheric, earth atmospheric readings that get weird, it could be something that's happening locally here. It may not be from the sun. There's so many other sources in space also of electromagnetic, you know, waves as well. I assume that's not the only star out there. I've looked, I've seen there's a collection of stuff going on. Earthquakes are going decently calm. I've I've so far seen Mexico's volcano is still going off. We're going to keep eye on that. Let's look at the lightning. Yeah, Mexico's building a lot of lightning over by the border, border towards Arizona and New Mexico. This is this is interesting and likely we're going to hear some news about this if not already. People are talking about the drama at the border of New Mexico and Arizona towards Mexico towards Mexico, which all I'm pretty sure used to be 
the same kind of land that was being used, so breaking it all apart probably, yeah, wasn't really working out. Those just imposing a border on these natural human travel migration pathways just it doesn't seem to work it just seems to make everybody angry and we can't seem to help ourselves and I think that's like because we're a migrating species and we just can't help but follow the magnetic lines like these are the magnetic lines all around earth that are trailing behind earth which I love to watch to see the pressure the tension of the solar wind right now it's looking eh, it's looking a little bit pressure I'll be honest with you don't know if the solar wind speeds are reporting honest. It doesn't feel like they're honest. I'm feeling the pressure today. So here's a little evidence of that potential argument. That's all I can really say on that. I'm going to make an argument that that's potential. I'm going to finish off this video and then do a little breathing just to show you the Mayan calendar, the blue magnetic monkey today, which is in its position with itself and its higher self all the same. So pretty aligned today, I would say. Some good alignment, maybe getting some progress done with your higher self and your higher path in general all of you here's the poem it is blue western castle of burning earth family cardinal clan truth i unify in order to play attracting illusion i seal the process of magic with the magnetic tone of purpose i am guided by my own power doubled it's kin 131 harmonic 33 Lunar process, formulate free will of challenge, magnetic gate. Excellent. And the moon is in Libra right now as it is exiting from its full moon energy. So everything's calming down moon wise. Is the aurora going to pick up? It kind of did last night. So perhaps tonight we're going to get a little more. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. We are nearly at 7,000 subscribers already. Much love to all of you. And I will see you on the next video. Join my Patreon and subscribe. I will be continuing to make all the fun content that you know and love. I'm so grateful for sharing this creation with all of you. Let's continue promoting world peace and space weather knowledge for all. All my love. So let's do a big, big deep breath. Hold, breathe out, one more breath, big intentions, I love this world and everyone who loves this world, thank you so much, next deep breath, may all who are learning to love this world learn to love it faster so we can enjoy it together, aho, breathe out. All right, thanks y'all. See you around.